It is a pleasure that you are with me again. I hope you and your pet are well. Today we will talk about the following. No 5 things your dog tries to tell you. Let's start. We all love our dogs and want to give them as much love as possible. But dogs don't communicate in the same way we do, and there may be things you're doing to show your love that your dog really doesn't like. Let's look at 5 of these things your dog is trying to tell you. 1. Hugs are not that good. It's a great feeling when your dog seeks your attention, but many dogs actually hate full hugs. Hugging dogs can be quite restrictive and prevents them from feeling safe and able to walk away. Signs that your dog doesn't like to be hugged include turning his head when you try to hunt him and flattening his ears against his head. He can also lick his lips and nervously look around him. These are signs that your dog doesn't like it. Instead, show affection with a touch or a game. 2. They really don't like direct eye contact. You may think that when you look lovingly into your dog's eyes, he is doing the same thing, but in reality he is not. Instead of being positive and even polite, as it can be for humans, giving your dog a lot of direct eye contact can be a very bad sign for him. In the dog world, direct and steady eye contact is a threatening or challenging signal and your pet may think you are being aggressive. So be puppy polite and don't stare at him. 3. Don't pet him on the head anymore. When you go to pet a dog, the worst thing you can do is go straight for his head. Simply put, if someone suddenly came up and tried to touch your face and pat you on the head, you probably wouldn't like it. You may feel quite intimidated. Well, your dog too. When petting a dog, it's best to get down to his level, offer him your hand, and let him come to you. Then, stroke her side, back, or chest instead of her head. If he has come down and is relaxing with you, he may like you to scratch behind his ears, but avoid leaning on him. You can be sure that he enjoys it if you pause in your caresses, and if the dog pushes his head back under your hand, you can be sure that he appreciates the attention. 4. Don't rush on walks. At times, we can find ourselves in a bit of a rush. But our dogs definitely can't be in a rush or be in a rush. Dogs love the opportunity to sniff and explore on walks. Rushing walks and pulling on the leash every time they stop to sniff can be really frustrating for dogs. Traversing the same route over and over again can also get quite boring. Try to vary your route and take time for a dedicated scent walk on a regular basis to give them time to sniff and explore for as long as they like. 5. Forced friendship is the worst. Dogs are social animals by nature, but just like us, there will always be people and other dogs that they really don't like spending time with. Dogs may bark, growl, or try to avoid people and other dogs they don't like or are uncomfortable with, but the signs are likely to be more subtle. Try to be aware of your pet's body language. If a tail that normally wags happily stops wagging, your pet tries to walk away, or licks his lips a lot, yawns and looks back at you nervously, then he knows it's time to call it a day. If it's about consistency and not just your dog having a bad day, you may need to avoid accidentally forcing your dog to spend time with a specific person or pet, it is a pleasure to inform you and help you, if you have not subscribed to the channel you should do it now, take care of yourself and your furry friend, a hunt, and until the next video, thanks.